Water eutrophication is the response which a waterway has when there is excess nutrients present in lakes and rivers. Often phosphorus and nitrogen are the main causative nutrients and they come from a variety of different sources. Excess nutrients in waterways are largely contributed by disposal of waste, detergent and sewage. However, the largest source of these excess nutrients is from fertilisers. Often in farming, excess nitrogen and phosphorus are retained in the soil and eventually make their way into the water. This is a particularly large issue for the Murray-Darling Basin as there is a lot of farmland surrounding the catchment. This severely increases the risk of the nutrients from the fertilisers leaching into the basin. Water eutrophication is a serious environmental issue as it often results in the growth of algal blooms. These have many negative effects on the ecosystems involved with the water and also has many effects on Australian communities. As the concentrations of nitrogen and phosphorus increases in the basin, this creates optimal conditions for phytoplankton, a species of photosynthetic algae. This begins to grow rapidly and results in a thick layer of green algae which covers the surface of the water. This event of eutrophication is known as an algal bloom. When the algae becomes too thick, the sun's rays can no longer reach the plants below the surface and they die, resulting in the removal of oxygen from the water. Eventually, due to lack of oxygen, the organisms in the water also begin to die. As well as having negative impacts on the organisms in the basin, Australian communities are also affected. Many farmers use water from the basin for irrigation for their crops. Water affected by eutrophication is not suitable for this. Although water eutrophication mainly affects the agricultural sector, it also has significant effects on urban and industrial communities, not to mention the effects it has on the economy costing Australia approximately $240 million each year. Since the major eutrophication event in the basin in the year 2009, the Murray-Darling Basin Authority has been thoroughly researching the specific causes resulting in eutrophication in the basin and developing potential solutions to combat the issue in the future. Sustainability for the Murray-Darling Basin in the future relies on the increased knowledge of the community this could result in a significant decrease in the amount of pollution which enters the waterways and therefore significantly decrease the severity of eutrophication events.